this video, we're going to be breaking down a new defense or at least a new coverage concept uh, that you're going to be seeing a lot more of in this year's game. And we're breaking down kind of why it is really, really effective. So this is going to come to you out of the nickel 3-3 Cub defensive formation in the Minnesota Vikings playbook. If you want to get my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, it's available in our school community. If you're not a school member yet, it's only 10 bucks to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, I'll put a link to the site down in the description below. The cool part about this formation is uh, you can put a safety here as your user, and then you can have coverage linebackers, real fast linebackers that have good coverage in at the back end. And then the other thing that I wanted to let you know about with this defensive, uh, with this defensive formation is a specific package that is going to make everything about this defense get a thousand times better. So uh, the biggest thing you're going to do is you're going to look at your packages here and you're going to turn on, there's one or two that I want to really draw your attention to. The first one is going to be the FS1 inside package or the safety nickelback package. And what that does is at your nickel corner, it's going to put a safety there and it's going to allow you to put outside third adjustments onto your safeties. The other package that I really like in this formation is the CB inside package. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to change your basic adjustments. And again, I would really recommend if you're going to do this, go ahead and sub out and sub back in your players wherever you want them to be at, just so you can make sure that you have the best uh, personnel on uh, for what you're wanting to do defensively. So I'm just going to sub everybody out, sub them back in. And then we're going to be using the play Mike Blitz Zero. This pretty much entire defensive scheme can be ran from Mike Blitz Zero. Auto Flip is going to be on for this. And then Option Defense is going to be on Conservative. If you wanted to, another thing you could do here is turn Auto Alignment to Man. This can allow you to disguise some of your coverages within your defense. But let's take a look here at Mike Blitz Zero. So as you can see here, uh, what we have is in this formation, you're going to be able to put both linebackers in man coverage on anybody that you want. You're going to get kind of the old 3-3 cub adjustments where you can actually adjust both linebackers. If you don't do this package, it'll make this guy, I believe, a defensive end a lot of the times. But essentially, this is a man-to-man -man based defense that we're going to be using here. And we're going to be using this in a way that kind of forces your opponent to at least have to slightly worry about some pressure. So the way we're going to set this up is you're just going to press your coverage. You're going to shade your coverage underneath. What I tend to like to do is shade underneath, and then I'll individually shade players like inside or outside. For example, I might say shade both these outside guys outside. Maybe I'll shade the tight end however I want. And then you're going to man the linebacker over the tight end up onto the tight end. Now, the big key within this defense is you can take both of these safeties here and put them in deep halves. This is going to help with um, defending any kind of deep bombs, things like that. And then if you're going to send four, you can put your user in a hook curl um, and try to get pressure with this send four. This send four is not always going to come in, but a lot of times you get kind of a quick shed out of this defense, and then you're basically responsible for the running back. Now, what they're going to eventually do is they are going to block their running back just because this send four is a good enough send four that they're going to have to consistently like at least feel the pressure because occasionally you'll just get pressure with this send four and you're just going to use the running back and everything is going to be covered. Now, again, the big key with this defensive system here is always kind of showing the same look. And then what you want to do is situationally, you want to send five. Situationally, you want to send five. So in this situation right here, I'm going to try to send five at my opponent. One of the things that I like to do in this case might be a cross man onto the tight end, and then we're going to have this curl flat out here, and we're going to shade underneath. So we're going to get really aggressive. Now, we do have a flat defender for support, so we might shade everybody on the right side inside. So you see here, we're going to send five. We're not really doing anything to make the blitz come in. We're just usering over the middle. And as you see, if they're consistently sending five out, that blitz is going to come home. So again, the basic concept here is we're going to lull them to sleep with good man coverage. If you want to, you can actually send three as well with this. And you just need to make sure that you leave your user blitzing so that you get good sheds. And then you're able to kind of lurk over the middle of the field. Now, switch stick is not really a, key, a huge key within this defense just because you are primarily running man coverage. I think the best version of the man coverage 
is whenever you are uh, sending three and then you're shading underneath because what's going to happen here is you could even do stuff like drop this guy on the left side into a flat to take away drags. There's ways that you can kind of uh, use the defense. Another super underrated version of this defense might be something like this where you use a seam flat to kind of trigger some matching principles on that left side, and then you can cross man the running back. Um, kind of an advanced setup, but is really effective because you'll get that nice match coverage on that solo receiver. But in general, shaded down man coverage is really good right now. It's one of the better ways to be playing man. Um, if you do send three, you can also occasionally uh, just slant your D-line inside and try to get a shed or a disengage. Happens all the time in this game. So that's a 3-3 cup defense. If you guys want to check out my full defensive ebook on this, make sure you join the school community. The link to sign up is in the description below.